welcome to the channel. Today's goal is to move this storage area of materials, kind of sort through everything, get it all off of there, and I'm going to see if Jen and I can pull that out of the ground. It's just, the poles are just in the dirt with gravel underneath, and uh, the goal is to move it over here. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how these poles do, because like I say, they were just put in the dirt with gravel at the bottom, and so far they don't look rotten. So we'll check that out. And they're not treated posts either. So uh, yeah, that'll be a nice little experiment. We got that sucker flipped over. Uh, the plan is to get her over here. We're gonna have to turn it here because that's the back and then uh, turn it so the back goes there. I want to show you these posts because I buried these. Uh, I'm gonna put on the screen when I buried them because I gotta look back at some pictures and see but these are at least a couple years, maybe three years old that these posts untreated were buried in the dirt and I just put gravel uh, like drain rock gravel underneath in the hole so they wouldn't be sitting in muddy water all the time and it looks like it did a great job because they're you can tell they're a little weather worn but they're still in decent shape yeah they are a little soft they're wet obviously but for untreated wood that did pretty well Not too bad, I mean, you would think it would start being all, just all rotten and falling apart, but it's just not that bad, so that's really cool. So I think next time I do this, if I do no cement and just put gravel in the hole, I'll probably do the old uh, Shosugi Bond thing on this and burn these. We got it moved now if you're wondering why I just didn't take all of it apart and move it because well because and that's about it just because we wanted to roll it. yeah I just didn't want to take it all apart because some of it's nailed some of it's screwed with Phillips screws and about halfway through building this things I discovered the uh, star bits and those are all I use right now so taking it apart with it's just got nails all those different screws I have no way we'll roll it over drag it over to where we need to and we did we definitely need to uh, strengthen the thing and put a bunch braces. of uh, braces and because it's pretty wobbly right now, but we'll do that. 
get a roof on it. It's a nice spot to have that tucked away. And oh, yeah. right there will be opened up. I mean, it looks like a tornado went through right now. but <laughs> And all that side of the yard over there we've never used. Yeah, all of this. After we took trees out and we put the fence up and we've got all that yard space. This is going to be really nice tucked away over here. And the other benefit of this is roof will be a little higher and then it kind of blocks off the neighbors here. So if we do have family or friends camping down here, they're not looking in the neighbor's windows. It'll just create another little privacy barrier there, which will be cool. All right, so Jen and I worked into the night getting that thing loaded up and now it's raining today, so it's a good thing we did. There's just a few more things down below that I've got to clear out. Uh, some of that super thin plywood is really no good anymore, so we'll probably get rid of that and some buckets to move. But otherwise, awesome. This thing's off to the side now. Um, I need to take some screws and nails out of some of that stuff. And uh, yeah, this area down here will be cleaned up. In the future, we're gonna kind of terrace this hill so we can grow stuff here. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, see you next time.